Jerry, there isn't going to be a competition a with dollar you. dollar for the first fish. I'm surprised that you're sitting here fishing with me. Come on, let's go. Come on. You know what I'm looking for in the moose? The royal moose with all these crowns and all these points. Looking, eh? Bigger bull than that last one? Yeah, far bigger oh, yeah. than the one on the other lake. <laughs> Give me five, man. Well, we'll call him in. <laughs> Maybe it's too be, dark. Though, stand man. here tomorrow morning. So I still got the touch. I guess you still got, got the touch. Maybe I lost it. <laughs> Beautiful morning. Good morning to get a moose. The thing I've learned over the years is that his antlers act as amplifiers, and these great big things are sticking out there, and he just leans his head into that, and he's got those huge ears that are set inside those uh, ant horns, and uh, it picks up everything. So even my speaking right now, he possibly can be hearing me, know, not knowing where he is right now. But uh, it's amazing what they can hear. Their eyesight might not be the greatest, but their hearing and smell is incredibly powerful for them. And that's what they rely on. So he knows where we are. It's just a matter of him stepping out of the bush right now and he's not cooperating. We're getting ready to just uh, head out in the boat for a little bit and I just happened to put my binoculars up and look down along the shore. And sure enough, uh, he's there in the water. We gotta get our game plan together and make our way down there and hopefully everything works out. I think even if we get over to this point here, yeah. he's walking this way, yeah. but there's a big... Oh, yeah. there's a you know, okay, there's bay a, in there. There's a lot of bay in there. Okay. If we get to this point and we continue to walk, watch him walk down, at least we can get the boat to there and maybe we can make a few calls and he'll just keep coming around the shore. Sounds good. Let's, let's give her a go. Okay. dark in the timber and then the sun hits the trees he's right below it to the right
you. He's coming in. Okay, next time he stops. Okay, ready? Are we ready? Okay, next time he stops. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. Congratulations, Dad. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's awesome. Wow. They move a lot faster than I ever thought. Look at you went from there to there in no, no time. I think what happened was this pattern actually looks like, you know, at the back of a cow moose. Yeah. I think that walking out there yeah. and walking back got him moving. Yeah. He'd have come right to us. Where, where, where's the girl? Here. That is awesome. Wow. Wow, wow. I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. I guess somebody's excited to see their moose. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on. tipped over it was so awesome yeah like I was so excited I wanted to I wanted to shoot him about three or four different times and he kept telling me no hold off hold off he's coming in he's coming in and he's in a beautiful location he's not he's in, in the water oh, great nice. spot yeah no look at him wow he's awesome. it's all about this baby beautiful beautiful <laughs> See, that's the crown I was talking about. Is that, is that the yeah, one? That's the one. Look at that. You can see where he's got some marks on his rack here that he's been in a fight with another bull, so there's obviously another bull in the area. He's busted off. Yeah, here. busted off. Well, you spotted it, then you made a great shot, so pretty much. You you did it all yourself. I hate to say it, but I, I'm, I'm glad you're here, obviously, right? <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> you're glad I'm here right now? Well, yeah, <laughs> particularly? Right, right now. No, we got a lot of work ahead of us. No, we're fortunate, we're blessed to get uh, an awesome opportunity to harvest this moose. And I just happened to pick my binoculars up and scan the lake, and here he is standing there. And he walked to 200, and you just let him walk in like no, I just didn't let him walk in. Like, I was, my heart was pounding. I was so excited. I was ready to shoot him a half a mile away. <laughs> it seems to happen somewhat textbook once you get behind the rifle, actually. You're starting to have way more confidence in you. Not that I shouldn't have had any confidence, but you've followed through on everything that uh, you needed to. Your largest Yukon Alaska moose? By far. Yeah. Today, Number three. Number your three. Your third. Yeah. So, oh, congratulations oh, again, oh, Father. Thank you, buddy.